What's up, everyone? It is your girl, JLB87 here at K Grace. And if you can't tell by the ears, we are doing the um, ColourPop and Hocus Pocus 2 video. Now, I asked y'all a while ago, or not a while ago, I asked y'all in a video recently if you cared about, you know, um, the way ColourPop was handling things and, you know, the whole J.K. Rollins thing and how you felt about the brand just at the whole uh, scams they had in the past. Nobody really seemed to, like, care. So I told y'all if it was stuff that um, I felt like you'd be interested in or I would be interested in, I'd still go ahead and talk about the brand, but I wasn't just going to, like, buy a whole bunch of collections every day. Even though I feel like I do a pretty good job of just buying what I feel like I'm interested in or what you're interested in, I just wanted some feedback. Nobody really cared. So I was like, okay, we'll just do this cute little Hocus Pocus thing. So I ended up grabbing the palette. I believe this was $24. It's still in stock on their website, but both the PR boxes and I like a lot of the glosses and stuff are gone and then the PR set from the one from last year is gone as well I did end up getting the highlight as well along with the ears so I only got like three things from the collection I think I did good because the glosses looked cool but once I saw how sheer they were I was just like yeah no we're not no and I was curious to see how this green highlighter was going to work on some of my skin tone so you know we got to try that girl but this is what it looks like on the inside so I need to take a little plastic down so this is what it looks like on the inside I'm worried about Okay, so it has that coconutty smell that the bronzer has. So this is from Soul Body. It's not from ColourPop themselves. Let me grab this highlighter brush. So I'm curious what this is going to look like on the face. But I'm going to compare the palettes to the other palettes. And then I have a couple of palettes that I feel like they're similar to. I need to find them though. I think they're underneath my seat. Well, with like five brands to do themselves or something like that. No, it's not here. Hold on. Okay, y'all. So I found the palettes. I had a couple of them from, um, what is it? Um, Unearthly Cosmetics. Keith Hayden and her family and all of Florida in your prayers. I hear they're supposed to be having hurricane season and going through a hurricane right now. But I'll start off with Hayden's palettes. So we have the Unearthly Cosmetics and what is it? Witching Hour palette. So I feel like the colors in here are somewhat similar to the colors in here. They're not exact. But I feel like they have a similar color story and vibe to them. And y'all know me. I got to compare everything to everything in the world. So here we go. Here's what both of them look like. As you can see, Hayden's is more bright and colorful. It's hard to show because of the reflectiveness. There we go. So as you can see, Hayden's is more bright and colorful, but I feel like they have the same colors and they're just on the muted side. So this might be a good palette matchup for you or, um, yeah, palette matchup or palette combination for you if you like brighter um, colors and muted colors combined because Hayden's only giving you brights, but ColourPop is giving you mainly muted. So you can combine them together and get a cute little look there. So that's one. I was thinking about comparing this to the new Mood palette from, um, what is it, um, Beauty Bay, but I was like, I don't feel like they're the same, so, you know, I don't see the point of doing that. Um, next we have a more muted version of the same palette, in my personal opinion, about the orange. This is the Leather and Lace. I ended up getting this when she had a 40% off sale. Here's, I think it's 40 or 30% off, something like that. But here's what they look like side by side. As you can see, this is a more muted version of this one. So again, if you want a deeper tones to go with this palette, since there are a few bright shimmers, you can use the deeper mattes out of here, and then the brighter shimmers out of here. But that's what that one looks like side by side. Now I'm going to show all the original palettes together. I need to put these back in the box because they're part of five brands that duped themselves video. And so far I have like, I think, two. I need three more for obviously five. So that's why I've been sitting here for a while. It's been literally sitting here maybe like a month. Um, next I have the, what is this one? Witching Hour palette. So this is the Witching Hour. That's funny. They're both named Witching Hour. But um, here's what it looks like. It has that reflective, um, what is it, Misunderstood palette look going on so I'm trying to find an angle to show that where it's not looking too crazy I guess we're gonna have to settle for that but this is what it's like side by side I actually put on decluttering this one after I um filmed this video I just wanted to show it side by side to you I'm trying to get better at decluttering stuff y'all because there's a whole bunch of holiday collections coming out and sister girl you know not trying to spend all her coins in the world so um since I was not a huge fan of this one compared to the first one I like the first one and the second one the best oddly enough so um, I'm going to actually declutter this and it's going to go over hit this cute little box. Last, we have the original Gather Round Sisters palette. Now, please remember, I did edit and change some stuff in mine. So, it's not going to look the way it's supposed to. I took a green from the, what do you call it, palette? Um, Just My Luck, I believe. And then I took a pink from Garden Variety. That's what that pink is right there. And then I took another shade out just because I didn't want the pressed glitters that were in here. So, this is what the first one looks like versus the second one. I like the second one better than the first one, but I do like the way I rearranged my first one. Not that the first one looked bad, it was just because of the pressed glitters, I couldn't be bothered. But that's what all the palettes look like, sad like that. This shade is really reminding me of that shade that's in the, um, what do you call that palette? Um, in the, in the limelight palette, because it's a shimmery green matte, like a sequin matte, so that's interesting. So it's like, are we duping ourselves with shades as well as like color stories? I don't know, but, um... 
Let me zoom you on in real quick and cute like go get another battery and then we will try on this highlighter girl because I am genuinely curious. I'll be right back. Okay, girl. Okay. Okay, if you're curious what's on my eyes right now, by the way, I probably should have said that earlier. This is the um Relentless palette from Plain and Makeup by Yolando. I put the um one of the dual combs on the lid slightly and then in the inner corner and then I just used the mattes from the palette and I used the ColourPop purple a lilac purple pencil. Why are these cases so horrible? Oh my good lord. Make me feel like I shouldn't have closed it back because man, almost as bad as a heart blushes. Y'all know them things. Are oh, honey, a whole disaster. I'm not gonna pull the plastic off the mirror because I can't use the mirror in the palette because the palette doesn't have a mirror, but it costs more than the other palettes. Make it make sense. Anywho, now that we're done with that random light, let's get into this highlighter. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just oh, it seems like it's more like a putty formula highlighter, so it's not one to pick up on the brush as much, but I'm gonna put it. In this area right here, because I have like bronzy colors right here, so I'm like, let me put it right here and see how it's gonna look. Ooh, okay. So I'm just doing this so y'all can see. When I obviously have it on permanently, I will have it where you put highlighter, but you know, it's like 3:45 in the morning. I'm just trying to let you see what the color looks like on somebody or skin tone. If you look like me and you're watching this, video. so there you go. I'm actually really liking it. It's giving a nice, cute little green, subtle moment, you know. Put them on the other side because you know when we do one side we do the other one they match it real nice and cheap like but i'm actually really surprised that it's working as well as it is on my, some of my skin tone because i was like concerned i was like oh this is gonna be an ashy mess you finna keep that cast on the side of your face you're gonna look crazy but it actually looks really really nice now if you don't like the smell of the bronzer then you're not gonna like the smell of this but as you can see i don't see a cast when i'm turning my head do you see a cast i don't okay color pop or soul soul body excuse me let me let me get it right so body, I'm, I'm liking this highlighter and I mean for the people who want a green highlighter every now and again Because y'all know I wear a green highlighter every now and again. I don't care. It depends on what kind of weird mood I'm in I feel like especially because it's Halloween time This is the perfect color to come out with and the fact that they made a nice universal one that doesn't look ashy on darker people I can appreciate that So now let's get into the eye towel palette. Of course, I'm going to change the lip But this is I believe this is called drama from Juvia's Place. Let me check yeah, Drama Queen from Juvia's Place is what I have on my lips. And then the gloss I have on top of it, I think it's Queen, um, um, She's Royal. This is one of the lip combinations I like to use when I have eye looks like this. So that's why I went ahead and threw it on after I ate my lunch. But I'm loving this glow, y'all. I'm just over here looking at my cheeks in the mirror. I mean, in the camera. So I'll be right back, girl, with an eye look, okay? Okay. Okay, y'all. So this is what we're working with with the Hocus Pocus 2 palette. So y'all can see I put the highlighter back where it's supposed to be. I actually did a whole first impression on a new brand. So that's what's going on with like the blush and the bronzer and the lipstick. It's a new brand. I put the um, black under lower lash time to save some time. As usual, y'all know I'm always trying to save time and cut corners and you know, manage my time the best I can. Cause honey, it just, it be a lot all the time. So I got two videos done tonight, which is good. So that means I only have to do two videos tomorrow. We'll actually see this video tomorrow on the 1st of October while I'm filming the Pat McGrath and the um, Melt one. I already did the um, comparison video. I'm going to edit that tonight along with this one to make sure they go up in a timely fashion. So what I want to do is I want to do a shorts of um, that one, but I realized it was way too long and the video was so long so I have a video just of the comparisons literally. And then I gonna do a separate video tomorrow where I actually film the eye stuff because I figure you want to sit through like 30 and 40 minute video just because I did comparisons. So let me show you what I use. So I use this weird shade here at the inner corner and then I put the highlighter with it because to me this seems like it's a pressed glitter mixed with a little bit of a super shock but mainly like a pressed glitter type formula that I wasn't feeling. Um I have these two shades right here on the lid. This is in the crease, this is on the outer V. This is somewhat on the lid. So I just kind of jumped around the palette. Oh, and these are the two shades we're going to use in the crease. So I just combined these two shades and put those in the crease. So I'm going in with Hunt, sorry, Witch Hunters and Havoc. Those are the two that I put in the crease to start off the lid with. Y'all, yeah, so it's two Sephora sales coming up really close. So I'm trying to just divide out my time as far as spinning goes but at the same time like i have to take Asian game over his best friend now like i think a week before the sephora sale starts or whatever 
the one that starts during my birthday in October, and then the one that's going on now for the friends and family. Shout out to my girl, Beauty Deals BFF, AK Amy. Sorry, Beauty Deals BFF2 or Amy on um, Instagram, who I find all the deals from normally. She um, shot me the link to the friends and family sale for Sephora so I could use the code. So I could actually use this day. I'm waiting for the Huda Beauty palette to launch and then I'm going to use it. I am going to buy the Patrick Ta palette. I'm just going to buy it with the Huda Beauty one because I figure you all going to be in a rush to see it because lately when I've been doing um, Patrick Ta stuff, people have been watching, but I really want to try to highlight it out and see the how the form of those things are going to be. So that's why I'm just buying the bullet and going ahead and buying the palette as well. Oddly enough, all this stuff you heard falling in the background was the palette. Patrick Ta stuff behind me because I brought the blush the I bought the last year's blush palette with me I brought all the cream blushes then I bought um the bronzer and the, sorry the contour and the foundation okay so now we're going to take what is this called night of sins it's the dark green and I'm start putting that on the IV As you can see, the pigmentation is definitely lacking. I'm going to have to build this up a little bit to get us where we need to be, girl. Because I don't know if they're pressing too hard in the pan because they had to put those um, details in. Because if you saw when I held it up, it had like, you know, an eyeball and, and the skull and all that. So I don't know if that's why the pigmentation is lacking on this palette. I definitely feel like it's lacking. I feel like I have to put in a whole bunch of work, but I didn't get near as much color or effort as I was hoping for. So I'm just kind of like, hmm. Interesting. I feel like it's like the in the limelight palette in the um, amethyst one, as far as like the pigmentation is giving, because it's not giving enough. And to me, like these deeper shades and my deeper skin tone, I figured they should show up better than they are. And they're not. So I'm just kind of like, hmm. If y'all heard Adrian being up in the background, he just yawned and like randomly woke up and then went back to sleep. So that's what that was. But yeah, so see what I'm saying? Like I feel like I have to build up a lot and I feel like I'm not getting the pigmentation I was hoping for with the amount of building that I'm doing. So, hmm. But now we're gonna go into the purple shade. It's called Observed, so we're gonna go into observe now and pack that. Next to the green, so I'm just gonna turn the brush like this and just start brushing on top. I thought this purple was gonna be lighter than what it was and then I patted it down and then it was darker than what it was and it was kinda late because I had already started the eye look, so that's how it's got like more smoky toward the inner part instead of the outer part like I was hoping, but I thought the green was going to be deep and the purple was going to be lighter based on how they look in the pan and they're the total opposite, so. I mean, it's not super dark, but it's still darker than the green. And like I said, to me, the green just looked deep in the pan, so I wasn't necessarily excited about that. Because it's rough, like the idea I had in my mind for this look because the purple it doesn't look the way it does in the pan to me. I don't know, it's like these shades are oxidizing weird, or like this one oxidizing the green one did not know, but. Hmm. Okay, let's take the brush and use the crease colors with, and just dust over all this stuff, try to get like a little gradient or whatnot. So now we're going to take some glitter blue girl and go in on the lid with the two shimmers that I showed you all, the green and the orange, and then we go into the um, glittery shade that in the corner, and then we'll talk about my thoughts at the end. But y'all, so the Pat McGrath um, palette launched October 1st. But the weird thing is, like, the blush palette launches October 1st on um, Sephora. But on her website, it didn't say anything about it launching, so I'm like, but the only thing I don't like about that is she's only launching the nude Venus, and the nude Venus is the one for lighter skin tone, so I'm like, you're only launching that one on Sephora before you launch the, I launch it on your website, so I'm just supposed to wait for my mother? Like, what are we doing? What are we doing, mother? 
Because, like, we already waiting for the other things. And then, like, the blush palettes aren't launching with the eyeshadow palettes. According to what I saw from her post on Instagram. And then, in addition to that, I was like, now I got to, um... Yeah, I don't know where I got cut off. It just decided it needed to cut off. But I was saying that the, um... The blush palette, one of the blush palettes launches at Sephora today, October the 1st, but like, it's not the one that works on deeper skin tones, it's the one that works on lighter skin tones. And I noticed that too with Charlotte Tilbury, like during the friends and family sale of sex, they only had the lighter version, they didn't have the deeper version on um, these other websites where they were letting you buy holiday collections, or which I found interesting, but I was like, mm-hmm. Okay, y'all, so let's go in with the crease color now. I did use the orange like I told y'all. I'm just going to go ahead and dust that over the crease right now just so it's, like, visible like it is on the other side. And that's the shade called Doomed. And the purple was called Observed, but I'm pretty sure I already said that. I figured I'd do this net last so it could be a nice little, like, blend over and make sure it's visible because sometimes when I do it ahead of time, I feel like it blends into the, um, background of look and then you don't, like, see peeking through and I want it to be seen peeking through like it is on the other side so I've noticed that when I do it last as opposed to first you can see it better so that's why I'm doing it but anyway I, like I was saying I noticed a lot of brands like when it comes to the holiday collections like they have the one for the majority available but like for the deeper ones over they always like come in later or they always um don't have it or they'll have an exclusive website so it's like, I don't know if it's because they don't sell as many of the ones for my skin tone as they do for other skin tones. So they want to make sure they get the full amount for each one. Because they know they'll have to like drop down the price of the other ones later. I don't know what's going on with that. But with the Charlotte Tilbury one, like I said, it's at Saks and you can buy it there. But they only have the fair medium one. And then Mother's Got Hers launching at Sephora today. But you would only buy the, um, what do you call it? The, um nude venus one which again nude venus if you have her blushes already you know that's not a shade that necessarily works well for my skin tone so that means we have to wait on the palette longer for people my skin tone because you know that's not the one that's launching today so i'm just like mm -hmm. okay i'm hoping this is like i said before a shipping issue or something to where that's why it's not wait where's my unicorn brush am i sitting on it again Okay, y'all, I had to brush it in the corner. I know I did. So, where is it? So, that's the one for lower lash line. Oh, this always happens. That's where I'll be sitting down and, like, the brush will be, like, behind me or something. Is that it? Here it is. Okay. So, we're going to go into the shade. What is it called? Candle is a light. I don't know. It just seemed really flaky when I picked it up on the brush. And it seemed like it had like particles of glitter. So, but I'm doing it the way I did to the other side. So I have to use this one first. It is quite sparkly and nice. It's just, it just seems really, really glittery. So. Oh, and FYI, I did order the Charlotte Tilbury blush palette. So you all be getting a video on that. I want to do that with the new Pat McGrath quads that are coming out today. But we'll see how well that goes. Now I'm going to take the highlighter. And add it on top of this because that's what I did to this side, and then we'll have a good old talker. So, I have a few things that I plan on ordering this week. I always have a few things I have to order every week, it seems like. I'm like, oh, gosh. but you know, life over you do it. Every time you look up, you gotta order something that's nice at the movie also. That's what you gotta do. Okay, so let me back you on up. You will talk about my thoughts. So bag it on up, girl. Okay. So this is the finished eye look. Um, it's okay. It's not anything special or crazy. I didn't go overboard or whatever. Cause the bright green in here I would have wanted to use is a sequin shadow, unfortunately, just like it was in the limelight. So I can't even switch it out from the limelight and use it somewhere else because the colors just ain't uh, both the colors have <sighs> shimmer in them and I don't necessarily like that. I feel like all these Shades seem to be really hard pressed in the pan and I'm not liking that because I feel like I'm not getting the pigmentation that I would prefer to have. I feel like it shouldn't have taken that much to build up the green or the purple. I feel like all the sh 
And then I feel like some of the shades look deeper than they actually are, so I don't know if they're ex oxidizing in the pan, and that's why they're not giving what I was hoping they are giving, because, like, this orange here, I feel like it looks bright in this pan, but I feel like on my eye, it doesn't look as bright. The shimmers are the only thing that actually look true to color as far as brightness goes. And this shade right here, I thought it was going to give more of a mauve tone. It actually gives more of a super deep gray. And both of these mixed together just like have this weird gray undertone to them. So I don't know how I feel about that. So overall, I'm not impressed with this palette. I'd say get the first one or even the second one before this one. I'm just not a fan of this palette. So I'm not going to recommend that you buy this palette. Um, I like the highlighter. I'd say get the highlighter. If you want something fun, colorful, and unique, get the highlighter. But I don't like this palette. I hate to say it because I'm excited about this one because I like the color story of this one way better than I do of the original one because of all the bright green slimy-ish type shades and you know it's giving the witching hour from um what do you call it um Unearthly Cosmetic 5 but I like that palette a hell of a lot better than I like this one and I know with her new formula it's somewhat pressed harder in the pan as well but I still feel like it picks better up on a brush and gives truly color pigmentation than this does so I'm just disappointed by the palette I hate to say um, I know I had heard good reviews about it from other people that got it in the PR, but it's like, I'm just not impressed with it. So, yeah, I'm not going to recommend you get this palette. The only thing I recommend is the highlighter from what I tried from this collection. So, those are my thoughts. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember, you all are diamonds. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Be blessed, girl. Bye.